Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an OSD for your King Kong 95 GT. And uh, I also did a bunch of other mods. Uh, XT30 connector, upgraded the receiver. And uh, just to show that this is actually for real, there's my hand. So what I'm using here is a uh, micro minim OSD. It's one of these little square chips. And I have mine set up just for uh, battery voltage and flight time. And of course you can uh, go in here and change your PIDs if you want. And yeah, that's uh, one of the things about this thing with Canopy is the USB port's blocked. But with an OSD you can then uh, set up your PIDs the way you like without having to connect this to your computer, which is uh, which is really something that I wanted. Okay, so let me just show you what I did. I used this connector here that was previously for the uh, PWM receiver, and, and so before you can do anything, you have to free up that connector there. Uh, my particular 95GT came with the RX2A FlySky receiver, and it was set up for PPM. And if you just move over the white uh, connector, the white wire, it used to be on this uh, empty one here to the one on the corner, that's uh, SBUS, and actually uh, SBUS or IBUS works for this receiver, so you just uh, desolder that, solder it to the one next to it, and then you enable uh, IBUS and serial receiver on UART2, and then this becomes a IBUS receiver, and then you can you know, use a, a turn energy evolution with the same receiver on here, because it, it uses the two-way protocol. Once you've done that, then it frees up this connector here. Uh, you still want to use the ground and the five volts there, and then you want to uh, leave these two next to it empty, and then the green and then the blue wire is uh, receive and transmit on uh, UART3. And so you have to enable MSP on UART3, and then those wires go to the micro minimum OSD over there. Green is on the left, then you have blue, and, so, and, the, and then uh, X that is 5 volts, and then ground, and then for the battery monitoring, since uh, on this board there's no VBAT um, sense uh, uh, enabled on this board, it doesn't exist, you have to solder uh, a wire directly to the battery lead. I have one, I have a wire soldered right there, you can see that underneath to the positive, and then that goes to the bottom of the board. It goes right there. Um, I thought that maybe, it would, actually the default uh, battery voltage is this, this one here where the solder uh, ball is, uh, but the firmware that was on here uh, had it backwards, so uh, this is actually battery 1 and that's battery 2, so I'm actually uh, connecting the VBAT sense to the battery 2 for, in my case. In your case it might be different, you might be using battery 1. So I'm going to put a link to Oscar Lying's uh, article. A tutorial on how to set up micro minimum OSD. I just use that. It's pretty. It's actually pretty simple. And then to get the video, I just splice the uh, yellow cable here that goes from the camera to the video transmitter. I just cut it, and then I have it going to the board. Right. It's kind of hard to see. The video from the camera goes to this connection right here which is the third one down, and then uh, the video transmitter goes to the one over here. You can see that. And then these two that are not users ground, and that's actually not, need that's not needed. And those are all the connections you need. And then I just have this tucked in behind the camera. And this is pretty much the only place you can you can stick it. So that's pretty much it. If you want to uh, go in here and configure the board, your settings after you've already programmed it. So I, I programmed and flashed it um, before I did all these connections using uh, FTDI adapter. But after you've done that, um, you can't flash it again. So I'm on uh, MWOSD version 1.6, which is like the most one of the most recent versions. Is fine for what, we, what I want to do here. Uh, if you want to change the settings, you can still do that with the GUI app. You just connect up to the USB port here, you go into uh, Betaflight Configurator. And so you're going to go into the uh, CLI and issue the serial pass-through command. And it's uh, serial pass-through space 
2, which is UART 3, space 115 200, which is the baud rate. And then a bunch of funny characters will go on the screen, and then you uh, disconnect from uh, beta light configurator, otherwise the COM port will be occupied. Then you can go into your MWOSD and connect to that same COM port to configure the OSD if you want to change any of the settings that you want to change. But, you know, once, once you've set this up, um, made all the setting changes, and got the voltage set up correctly and calibrated, then you probably won't ever connect this again, because all I, all I want is voltage and flight time, and the ability to change PIDs. So that's pretty much it. Um, I, while I was at it, I swapped in an XD30 connector, so I, uh, uh, let's see here, I, you have to first uh, change your receiver from PPM to uh, either SBUS or IBUS, so I'm not sure how the FreeSky or Spectrum um, versions of this are set up, but if you're using PPM and this connector is occupied because PPM is on that third pin that's empty there, uh, you can't use this connector. So you have to switch it to serial, and then once you do that, you can then use these UARTs here for um, the uh, OSD chip. And that's about it. I uh, am going to be using some 3S batteries here, doing some testing on that, and also going to be uh, uh, putting on the uh, gem fan uh, props on this one. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this mod. Uh, you can do the same mod on the 110 GT as well, and I believe this also works on the 90 GT as well, so it's a pretty simple mod, and uh, if you want to do PID tuning uh, and get your voltage and, and flight time on on on-screen on display, this is a, a good way to go. And I think there is a way to possibly hack this some more to, do, to get a buzzer for a lost model alarm. Uh, because VBET doesn't work on the flight controller, you can't get a, a low voltage alarm. But um, if there's interest in, in that and it hacking this for a buzzer, let me know. I, I think it's I think it's possible to do. I have, I, I've heard it's possible, but I haven't done the research to um, to uh, actually do it because I'm not really that interested in putting a buzzer on there. I just wanted the uh, the the, the ability to change my PIDs and uh, see my battery voltage because uh, I just wanted to know when I, went, I needed to land. Uh, but if you want to know about the buzzer and uh, lost my alarm, let me know and I'll make that video. Um, leave a comment below. Hope you guys liked this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.